I'm happy to announce three new steps that we will be taking together as we continue to renew the relationship between the Crown and Indigenous peoples in Canada. First, to ensure that the unique and distinct needs of Indigenous communities are taken into account, we will establish permanent bilateral forums with the AFN and First Nations, with the ITK and the four Inuit Nunangat regions, and with the MNC and its governing members. I will meet with leaders of these groups every year to develop policy on shared priorities and monitor our progress going forward. Similar meetings with key cabinet ministers will take place at least twice a year. We are making this commitment because we believe that the best decisions and the best outcomes can only come about when we are fully engaged with all our Indigenous partners. We continue to strive for, for self-determination and for equity in this country. And um, the leadership that this government is showing in relationship to the uh, reconciliation and also in relation to the ongoing maturation of the relationship between Indigenous rights holders, Inuit, Métis and First Nations and the Crown is appreciated. Imagine this for a second, locked out of your house for 10 years and you're finally let in. That's our feeling that we have and in fact it's a great feeling to have as the Métis Nation. Uh, we waited for 146 years, for example, for our land claims to be successful in the Supreme Court of Canada. We waited again decades upon decades for a Daniels decision to come down. And so finally we say to ourselves and as we go into these meetings with the Prime Minister that we do actually have a Prime Minister that cares, one that has a vision to make a difference.